Hello, friends. Welcome to another live session with DocSpot. We'll wait for some people to join in, and we are trying to change the theme of things. We know that lives become a little tense. COVID has taken away a lot of our charm and the things we enjoyed. And uh, so today's session, we try to bring in a little bit of laughter, a little bit of joy back into our lives. And uh, so uh, we'll wait for a few people to join, but the session today is going to be on dogs in our lives through cartoons and comics. And uh, who doesn't like cartoons and who doesn't like comics? I'm sure all of you have been there at some point in time in life, in school or even older. I am at my age still very fond of comics and cartoon characters, and I love to watch a cartoon whenever I can. So uh, we thought at DogSpot that we should bring back a little bit of uh, laughter in our lives and smiles. We all know that dogs are the best way to bring uh, happiness back to our lives. Everybody who's watching this agrees that dogs are our best companions, dogs are our best friends. But, uh, you know, movies and uh, cartoons and comics have also brought us many characters which we've lived through and grown with uh, who have brought great joy to us. So this session is uh, about, hello, Ruhi, uh, nice to see you back, and hello, Sandeep. Uh, Vishal is there, and uh, yeah, Ruhi says she loves comics, and I do too, and we all do love comics. So I don't know, because I was hoping that some children would join today, because uh, they would know so much more about uh, cartoon characters. But uh, I'm sure that as this theme catches on, we'll have more and more uh, people joining in. My very old and very dear friend, Mr. Sita Ram from Bangalore has joined me and we have been together in the dog show game since 1979, showing Labradors together. So hello, Sita Ramji, nice to see you on this forum and thank you for joining. Uh, my friends, the hello, Rohan. Uh, the idea to, uh, about today's session is to talk about the important or the uh, comic characters or the cartoon characters that have become etched in our memories and have become part of our daily lives. So we'll talk about uh, a few characters and see how much you know about them, how much you love them. And, and I hope that you can turn around and go back and watch some cartoons and comics after this session. So that's the idea. Uh, I have a book which I referred to in my last live session. The idea of this book is, uh, you know, it gives us details about dogs, which normally we do not know. So it's got dogs, which it's it's a it's the Guinness Book of everything you don't need to know about dogs, and it's got uh, dogs from Hollywood, dogs from Bollywood, uh, comic dogs, cartoon dogs, dogs in paintings, dogs in sculpture, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, this session is about uh, what I broadly like to refer as uh, cultured dogs. So, you know, there are dogs which have been living in the White House in the US and there are dogs which have been with the Indian prime ministers and there are dogs which have been with all world leaders, dogs in world war, dogs in police rescue, dogs in 9-11, which we hear so much about. So that's the idea. And But um, we'll concentrate on the ones that bring a smile on our face. So um, all of you should join me and, you know, uh, try and tell me if I name some people or some characters uh, whom you can identify with or who you heard of or seen or read about and uh, raise a cheer and raise a finger and we'll be able to see. So the format is the same. We speak a few words about each character. Then we ask five questions. There'll be uh, five questions or a set of questions about each character. There'll be five characters we cover today. And the person who gets the most answers correct will be declared the winner. Last time, Squiz winner was uh, Ruhi from Nagpur. And I'm sure she's all ready and geared up and ready to go for today's quiz. But strong competition was given to her by Sandeep Athaya. So he should be trying to win this one again. Let's see. So uh, let me, uh, you know, uh, show you this book, which I keep referring to. This is the book which I keep referring to, and it's a source of great joy for me. I can flip through it at any time. So there are Disney dogs it talks about, and there are these famous dogs in uh, stars, you know, 
all of us have heard of uh, the uh, Rough Collie. Uh, that was a famous uh, movie star. And there's Bullet, and there's Daisy, and there's Mike, and there's uh, Ring Tin Tin, and there's so many of these famous dogs that we keep referring to. But today it's concentrated mainly on comics and cartoon characters. So let me give you a few names and see how you identify. This is not yet a question. This is just a backdrop. Let me give you a few names and see whether it makes any sense to you. How many of you have heard of Pluto? Ah, Pluto. yes, Sitaram says it's a beautiful book. It is a wonderful book. I chanced upon it in a small bookshop in a, in a city called Merit in North India when I was posted there in my first or second posting after joining service. And nobody could imagine that I would get such a book at a bookshop in Merit, but I did. So it's about 30 years old. So yeah, how many of you know of Pluto? How many of you know of Fred Bassett? How many of you know of Napoleon? Not Napoleon, the historical character, the emperor of France, but Napoleon, the comic character, that is the dog. So these are the kind of questions that we are going to be asking you today. And uh, be ready as I start to uncover one character after the other. And to make things a little easier for you, we'll also show you a picture of the character. But that picture will come to you only once we've spoken a little about this character. And OK, Ruhi says, yes, Pluto is a pet dog of a dog called Goofy. Oh, Sitaram says he got this book from Kolkata. Wonderful. OK, Ruhi, keep your answers ready, because the Pluto is not covered in this thing. Pluto was just a passing reference. He might be covered in our future sessions. So let me start. I'm going to name some human characters. You can keep your pencils and pens and paper ready. And you have to identify which dog am I going to be talking about once I talk of these human characters. Brainiac Velma. Please make a note. Brainiac Velma. Shaggy Rogers. Fashionista Daphne. This is a character lady character called Daphne. And she's a fashionista, so she's into fashion. And the other character I named is called Brainiac Velma. And uh, the third character I named is called Shaggy Rogers. Now, this dog character that I'm going to show you a picture about in two minutes is part of the comic series or cartoon series in which these three people are human characters. So that is my first clue. Shaggy Rogers, Rainiac Velma, Fashionista Daphne. Am I getting an answer? Has anybody identified the dog character yet? No, no answers yet. Come on. Ruhi Kulkarni says, uh, OK, I don't want to be, Let's see if she's right or wrong. So uh, Anvesha, can we have a picture of this dog character coming up, please? If you can show us a slide. OK, we have a slide of this dog character. This is the character that I am talking about. No, just the first slide. Yeah, that's the character I'm talking about. Zuhaib Zaman says Scooby-Doo. Vishal Mane says Scooby-Doo. And uh, Ruhi Kulkarni says Scooby-Doo. OK, we'll see who's right at the end of the session. So this is the character. And now, that's not the question. That was just the hint. The questions are, please note down, in which year was this cartoon character created? Question one. What is the name of the creator? Question two. What is the breed of dog that this character represents? And is there a catchphrase or a song or uh, any sort of call or sound that this character is famous for? So I'm repeating four questions. Year of creation, name of creator, breed, catchphrase. 
Zoheb Zaman says 1999, which I can assure you is wrong. So keep trying, keep trying, Zoheb. Four questions. Has everybody noted? Don't answer here, Zoheb. Keep them ready. I want all the answers together for one character. Give me all the four questions. Year of creation, name of creator, breed, catchphrase. Right. Okay. That's character number one. Now we are moving on to character number two. I'm giving you the human characters of this cartoon strip. The human characters are Sally Brown, Lucy Van Pelt, and something that everybody enjoys with an evening drink in India. If you're having a gin and tonic or a whiskey, what do you have along with it? And there was a movie of the same name also, which was launched in 2015. So the human characters are Sally Brown and Lucy Van Pelt. And what do you have with drinks? And there was a movie with the same name launched in 2015. That is the set of hints for the second dog character Anvesha, can we have the slide of the second dog character, please? There he is. That is the second dog character that we are referring to today. Rui Kulkarni has brought a beautiful song back to my memories. It says, Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, where are you? Yeah, that's right. Scooby-Doo, Scooby-Doo, where are you is the catchphrase. And I think Rui is absolutely right there. But it's time to move on to this comic character that we are not talking about. Sally Brown, Lucy Van Pelt, and what do you have with drinks in the evening? So the second character, again, the same set of questions. Year of creation, name of creator, breed of dog, and catchphrase. Year of creation, name of creator, breed, and catchphrase. OK, I will give some sort of an answer towards the end of the session so that everybody can check whether they were right or wrong. But I won't do it just now. I'll do it towards the end of the session. Has everybody noted? Four questions, year of creation, name of creator, breed, and catchphrase. If everybody is ready, we shall move on to the next set of hints. The next set of hints, there is this ship on the high seas. The captain of the ship has a beard. He's got the sailor's cap and his name is Captain Haddock. And on board the ship, is a frail, small gentleman with a little bit of a goatee beard and a pendulum that he keeps hanging from his hand. And his name is Professor Calculus. So two human characters, Captain Haddock and Professor Calculus. The interesting hint, if you go and search for this character on Wikipedia, He's described as a via fox terrier. Now, Wikipedia is normally taken to be gospel truth. But whatever little I know about dogs, this dog character is not a via fox terrier. It is a terrier, but it's not a via fox terrier. So three hints, Captain Haddock, Professor Calculus, and the Wikipedia describes him as a via fox terrier. So can we have a flash of him, Anvesha? There he is. That is the picture of the third dog character that we are knowing. You have to name the character. You have to give me the year of creation, the name of creator, the breed, and the catchphrase. That is same set of four questions will be applicable to all the characters that we will discuss today. Now I'm going to take a total shift. We've been discussing characters and cartoons 
from the West. Because growing up as children and even now, animation and characterization and comic strips was always associated with the West, things that came from the West. We didn't have any such thing in India. Sadly, that is wrong. We have always had comic strips and characters in India as well. I don't know of how many of the new generation or the present generation know of Amar Chitra Katha, a beautiful series of comics that described our history and mythology or the Jataka Tales. The Jataka Tales are absolutely fabulous. They used to come in comics. And, you know, it's a, it's a very voluminous body of literature which concerns the previous births of Gautam Buddha. And that too, both in terms of human and animal form. So the Jataka Tales say that the Buddha can appear as a king, as a god, as an elephant. But in whatever form he appears, he exhibits some virtues. And those virtues are encased as a tale or a story and brought forward in Jataka tales. So in many of the Amar Chitra Katha and the Jataka tales, you will find uh, such characters. So my request to all of you, go back, read some Indian comics, because the character that we are going to be discussing now is a dog character from a purely Indian Hindi comic. My apologies to my viewers and friends from other than the Hindi belt in India because I was only able to get information on a Hindi comic, but I'm sure there would be such information on other comics uh, in regional languages as well. So the secret here is character one, Sabu, character two, Bini Chachi and character three, the main character of this comic book had a close resemblance to R.K. Lakshman's common man character. If you followed R.K. Lakshman's cartoons in the times of India and in his books, he had a diminutive strong, uh, small old man being depicted as the common man in India. This uh, cartoon character had a very strong resemblance to R.K. Lakshman's uh, common man. So that's the third hint. And uh, if I can have a picture, Anvesha, of this character, uh, it would be wonderful. There he is. This is the dog character that was very, very popular when I was a young boy growing up in the Hindi belt. And very few people thought of reading Hindi comics, but my urge it's our national language and we should take pride in reading it. And there's nothing wrong if you have uh, access to or you're fond of reading uh, regional language or Hindi comics as well. So this is for my friends who, ah, Ruhi Kulkarni has an answer. Zohib Zaman has an answer. And now oh, people are Subramanyam Narayan Swami has an answer. And Zohib Zaman has already given the name of the uh, dog. Let's see if he's right. We'll see it at the end of the uh, session. Uh, let me give you a hint, Zoheb. Uh, there was a particular pronunciation which was read, uh, which was you know used for describing this name. So you can go and have, and Gaurav is uh, thrown, thrown in an icon to say what the name of the character was. So that's very nice. But the same set of questions, year of creation, name of creator, the breed of the dog, and if there was any catchphrase associated with this character. And now, moving on to the last character that we have. Have we done five? No, we have done. The last character for the day is one of my favorite set of comics. This is a roadside food item which is favorite in the United States of America. It's got two long pieces of bread and it's got a piece of meat, which is normally a piece of uh, a sausage or a piece of ham or beef uh, inside between the two pieces of bread. And that's one of the hints. And the three uh, human characters that are hints to this particular uh, cartoon character are Big Moose, the suave, the beautiful, the rich Veronica, 
Veronica Lodge, and Archie. These are the three human characters that are associated with this comic character. And it's not a cartoon, it's a comic character. These are the three human characters associated with this particular dog, Archie, Veronica, and Big Moose. Zoheb Zaman has got the wrong answer. It's not Richie Rich. So can we have a flash of this comic character, please, Anvesha? There he is. That is the character that I'm referring to. And I've given you the hint. His name is based on a favorite roadside food item in which we've got two long pieces of bread and a piece of meat between. It's like a sandwich. Ruhi has given an answer. We'll see in another two minutes before we end the session whether that's the right answer or not. But the questions are the same. Year of creation, name of creator, breed, and catchphrase. Zoeb, you're getting this wrong. The name is wrong too. Try, try, try before the session ends. So I have done my five questions for the day. And I am going to be Preeti Jain says something which I cannot say just now, but it's everybody is there to read. OK, so now let me just read this for you guys. And um, I'll try and sum it up and see if it makes any sense for you. OK, so the first character we did was, hmm, whom did we do the first? I think we did. Uh, It's a great name. It's Scooby Doo. It was created in 1969. The creators are Joe Ruby, Ken Spears, and Ivo Takamoto. The catchphrase can be Roo Roo Raggy or Scooby Doo, Scooby Doo, where are you? That's the first one we did. Whoever gets all these questions right, gets the prize. The second one we did, I think, was the cartoon name. The Adventures of Tintin is the comic book. The date of creation is as way back as 1929. The creator was Herge. The breed is a terrier. Get these answers right, and you win the prize. The third one for the day was... Which one was it? I think it was hard to name. Snoopy Peanuts. Date of creation, October the 2nd, 1950. Creator, Charles M. Schultz. Breed, Beagle. The catchphrase is beautiful. All of us should make this the catchphrase of our lives. To live is to dance. To dance is to live. Snoopy. The next one we did was cartoon comic name Chacha Chaudhary, date of creation 1971. The dog's name is Rocket. And for the Hindi reader and the Hindi viewer, it was pronounced as Rakit. So typical Hindi pronunciation of the word Rocket. He was called Rakit. His creator was Pran Kumar Sharma. And the breed is the now popular Everybody wants one indie dog. And the last one for the day is comic strip was Archie Comics. The date of creation was December 1968. The creator is Bob Montana and John Goldwater. It's a sheep dog. And the character's name is Hot Dog. So that's what we have for today. We are into the last minute we gave ourselves 25 minutes for this we want everybody to guess ah someone is saying i guess you are an ex-civil servant yes i am sir i am an ex-civil servant and i mr handsome sinner yes i am an ex-civil servant i joined service in 1989 and i took voluntary retirement in 2017 
because my love for dogs was too much to give up and so i now work with uh, dog sport and i do dog show judging but good that you were able to guess thank you very much so very, thank you all for tuning in and uh, we will now find out after we've analyzed all your answers who the winner was but i think from whatever answers i read that ruhi seems to be running away with it for the second time in a row so let's see how it goes and we promise to be back in a few days with another session depending on how your feedback is on our email or our website we will design another session from this wonderful book called the genius book of everything you didn't need to know about dogs thank you very much have a great evening and we'll catch up back thank you dog spot and thank you andesha bye